what is this? Is this me coming back with an actual Squishmallow related video? Is it the rapture? Oh, Here we go again. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. I, you know, I kind of feel like, I feel like we haven't seen each other in a while, even though I have been posting. I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like my Squishmallow videos, like we, we have like a certain community going on here and I missed you guys for the past couple of weeks that I was doing Ace Attorney playing that on the Nintendo. And if y'all haven't watched it, please go watch it because um I I mean I would I would like to make some money. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Well, okay, I'm not kidding. I would like to. If you are even remotely interested in gaming or jokes or uh, getting frustrated at the justice system. Uh, I'm just kidding. Can I say that? Watch that video. I will put it up in the doodly doot right up there. But anyways, we're back with another Squishmallow video and I actually went Squishmallow hunting this time, you guys. I actually did. I haven't been buying Squishmallows in a while because, well, there's there's a multitude of reasons, okay? But I'm gonna give you the big ones. Um, Number one, there literally just hasn't been that many released recently that I've been interested in. That's just, that's just the facts. You know, spooky season is coming up and I ain't got no probs with spooky season, okay? I can dig it. But as far as like squishmallows and, and plushies in general go, that is not my vibe. You know what I mean? I have a few Halloween ones. Like, of course I had to get the homie pumpkin Avery, like duh. But uh, I'm not really into like spooky themes. I like cutesy like I you, you get you come on you look at my you get me I'm sitting on Kirby okay I mean you get it but um so that's the biggest reason second reason there's just been some boring things happening in my life that have been taking my attention and my money but we're back okay and also l l let me address the fact that we have no space okay I, I did managed to make a space. This is the space I made. Abelene is in there all by herself. Now who can fit in there? Like maybe like two people, depending on the size of, and, and so it's not a lot of space as you can see. So space is running thin. Has that stopped me? No, but I am trying to keep it in mind, you know? And I thought I had more cubicles, but I don't. And I could technically buy more cubicles, but like, you know, it's one of those things like I really shouldn't. And in my mind, I know I shouldn't, but in my heart, I'm like, should I do it? But anyway, I, I did get some Squishmallows. So we are back. Before we get into the juiciness of what I got, let's roll that footage. All right, y'all, so we're starting off at the Torgit. We had Dagmar the Lemon Cow. He's really cute, but for some reason, he's just not doing it for me. I don't know. I really don't know because I usually love the cows, but I don't know. I feel like the snoot could have been bigger. I don't know. Anyway, we got this little drink. I thought she was really cute. Elizabetha, Elizabetha. Uh, they also had a pickle over here, a little teal pickle. I thought she was real cute. I kind of like this one better than the mustache one. I don't know if it's because she's teal. Actually, I think that's exactly why. I don't know. I just liked, I like the teal pickle. And then we had a bunch of Malcolms. I don't know what he was doing there in so many different quantities, but, uh, good to see him. There's a Tigger right there. We had a thick Meryl. <laughs> And then squish alongs. I was so excited to see these. I kind of want to collect them, but I'm also like, yo, I really don't need to get into something else. But um, so I didn't pick any up, but I really like Carl the burger in that one and the butterfly. I think they're so cute. I also found this Care Bear with these color. I thought it was so cute. I think it's Groovy Bear or something. I controlled myself on that one. And then in Walgreens, they had this parrot. Uh, I can't really, I don't know what that says. Oh my god. They also had a bunch of Easter squish still out, which I thought was really weird because it's like almost September and they still got Easter out. I guess not enough people wanted those suckers, which is kind of sad. But they had Cillian, y'all, and I was this close to buying him, but I left him. I kind of regret it though. 
um, might go back for him. Cute little caterpillar, the usual suspects. And then that freaking chow mein is so cute and I almost got that one too and I again might go back for that one. They also had the capybara which was a cool one to find in the wild. And then the new harvest squad, the turkey is so cute, Gabriana because <laughs> turkeys be goblin tortellini the alien the cutest of the aliens in my opinion and then this little pumpkin thing i don't really know what it is but it's pretty cute and then we got the homie Waxy still in there some more easter squish and then a taco uh they also had this little strawberry well it's not little it was big but she was really cute she's very vibrant and glittery on the top mimi i thought she was pretty cute and then I went to Aldi because I was just, I was in the neighborhood, you know, and I saw that they had a new squad out. So I was like, yo, I'm a peep it. And I was also there looking for the bum bums, the shark bum bums. And they did have the squad, but the shark was not there. So I was low key sad. I think I missed out on him, but it's fine. We at least found these guys. We got a cute little purple deer. I thought she was really cute. And her name, what's her name? Her name's Chantrice. Oh my god, that is iconic. I love that name. That's so cute. And then they also had this pink manatee, which was cuteness maximum. And her name was Morlai. I freaking love the manatees. And then they also had a golden dragon that was in my hands because I was considering purchasing him. Mister. Look at his glitter belly. He was so cute. And then they also had these clips. I really like the dinosaur one. I didn't end up getting one. The frog is really cute too. I don't know how I feel about the new clip shape because it's gonna throw off the the cohesiveness of my clip collection. But you know, what you gonna do? And then I went to Kohl's in Joplin, Missouri, and I found the Halloween Sanrio Squishmallows. I feel like my Melody is the cutest of them all. Like, she is so cute in the jack-o'-lantern suit. And they had Karomi. They had Pom Pom Purin and Cinema Roll in, like, the regular versions. I love Pom Pom's booty hole. I think that is so cute that they add that. And then they had the Pokemon Squishmills. I was so excited to see Dragonite with my real eyeballs. They had a smaller Meryl and a Halloween jack o -lan Well, not jack o just pumpkin axolotl. That one was really cute. Also, that bear with the hat is so cute. And I don't think I noticed him when I was there. They also had this little drink. I don't know if it's like a... a Miami Vice or something but Susan she's she's real cute we got Dole and the dinosaur I think that's the beta fish in the back of him we got we got that cute uh little hippo with the with the flowers on her another thick ass Meryl a seahorse which is kind of frumpy but I thought it was really cute and then Gar look at Gary making his way around the world and then we got some hug me's that are I feel like they're always there a raccoon the Mickey Mouse I feel like they did Mickey Mouse dirty with that hug me I don't think he's very cute I don't know what they did wrong but I don't know he he's a little freaky and then we got the Harry Potter squishmallows and that cute little shrimp what did y'all think we it was you know it was juicy to a degree it was pretty good i usually don't go to aldi for squishmallows and i randomly saw on the squishmallow subreddit that they had that squad and i was right near an aldi so i just scared to the aldi and i'm not gonna lie i almost got that uh, golden I think it was a dragon, the gold dragon. He was in my hands and I was in the line. But then I was like, Brenda, for real, like, come on, you don't need to. You don't need to. And so I put him back in favor of another one that you will see right now. But anyway, let's get started. The first one I'm going to show you, I did not get on film because I was out of town on a trip with Nanny, my grandma, and my mom. We were kicking it sexy style. And what? I'm just kidding. We weren't. Well, but no, we were we were kicking it normal style. Okay, not normal either. We were kicking it funky style, okay? And we were at the mall and they had one of those like, I, do any of your malls have like those big claw machine clusters and they're like in a bus? Like they're in the style of a bus and like each bus window is a claw machine. It was one of those. And they had Squishmallows in there. And so I was like, yo, I gotta play this. And I did. 
and I epic failed like five times. It was not working out. And I was like, this thing's rigged. But Nanny was like, I think I can do this. And I was like, girl, go for it. And y'all, she went for it and she put me to shame because she totally won me a Squishmallow. It was so lit. She won me this chicken. Can you even see him? Is it too, is it too light? He, I feel like he's a little washed out right now. Can you? Comparing to my shirt. Anyway, he's a little chicken boy. I love him so much. Thank you to Nanny. Everyone thank her in the comments for winning me him. Like, I, I was not, I wasn't expecting her to get down like that with the claw machine. Like, she was, she was killing it, okay? She, she got that. And you know what? Here's the tea. I did get it on film. I did. But we're respecting her privacy and we're not posting it. Even though I wish you guys could see it because it was, it was epic. Okay, so just pretend like you saw it and uh, compliment her claw machine skills because we have a chicken. He's so cute and I love chickens. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, have I ever said that before? I don't know, I love chickens. I love their imagery. Chickens are definitely my vibe. Not only are they adorable, but they are tasty and they poop eggs that are also tasty. I mean, we're, you can't lose. He's very classic, you know, like he is just chicken. There's nothing weird going on. He's not green with purple hair. Like he is, he's quintessential chicken and we love him for that. Also, I love how his, fe his wings have like little feathers on them. Like that is so freaking cute. Anyway, his name is Todd. Let's learn about him. Have you ever wondered how to play the harmonica? Todd is a harmonica hero and can play almost any song he hears. Watch for him on the newest game show, Play That Tune, to see if he's the next big harmonica sensation. That is so cute and kind of on theme because you know like when there's a farm in a movie and they always, they play like a song that sounds farmish, it usually always has like a harmonica in it. You know what I'm saying? He's super cute and I love him and Nanny is goaded for winning him for me. I'm so sweaty. I say that every video and I'm gonna keep saying it until summer is over. I don't need to notify you every time I'm sweaty. So I don't know why I keep doing it but I don't think I'm gonna put effort into controlling that impulse. So just a heads up. This is the one that I got from Aldi. It's a manatee. Y'all be knowing that I love me some manatees. I recently acquired Matt the manatee, he's the classic. And this is Morlai and she is pink, my favorite color. And I mean, look at her right now, like she's already fitting in big time, like she, she can go right there. She can go right there next to Abelene, but not yet because we're talking about her. She's being featured. And look at, look at her booty fin. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love booty fins. They're so adorable. I wish I had one. Well, actually, no. I don't wish I had one because if I did, it probably would not be cute anymore. You know what? I totally missed an opportunity when we were in Florida. We went on a dolphin tour and we went through an area where they were like, there's manatees up in here, but that's the time of year that they don't really come up that often. And they said there were some, but apparently manatees are very much like humans, no thank you. Like they're skittish, you know, dolphins are like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing up here? What's that? You got a boat? Let me sniff it. You know, but manatees are not like that. They're kind of, they're like minding their own business. You know what I mean? So I did not get to see one, unfortunately. Hopefully my day will come. But right now, this is the closest we're getting and it is good enough for me. I think she's so cute. She's not too complicated. She's just a pink manatee and there is nothing wrong with that. So anyways, let's learn about her. Morlai sings in opera houses all over the world. Her stunning mezzo-soprano just garnered her a record deal. She can't wait to get started. Morlai plans to sing all her favorite arias and maybe even a few standards. What do you think she should call her first album? That 
is so cute. I'm going to go with, uh, what was that word? Mezzo Soprano. I'm going to go with Manatee Mezzo. I think that's a good album name. Congratulations on your career. Alrighty, this next one is the last one I got, but do not, do not be leaving, okay? After I show you this one, don't click off and go somewhere else because there's also gonna be a section in this video of plushies that I acquired that are not Squishmallows, and I wanted to show you guys those too. So, Dragonite, yo! I was so excited when they announced this one. When they announced that they were even making this, I was like, like Dragonite is iconic, He's adorable, he's a staple. If you're a lover of Pokemon, which I am, I'll have you guys know I am just completed my playthrough of Pokemon Ultra Moon. It was lit, I, I hadn't got to play that one when it came out, so I just played it. This is, I believe, the 10 inch, I think. I got this one at Kohl's, you saw. Um, they had a lot more of him than I thought they would. Like, I kind of thought, well, y'all remember when Pikachu and Gengar came out and everyone was going feral for, for Gengar and Gengars were at a shortage and people were like, where can I get the Gengar? I missed out on the Gengar. I need the Gengar. But since then, the Pokemon Squishmallows have been kind of like, I guess they took that knowledge and they're like we need to make more of these babies so there has been no shortage this time i kind of thought dragonite would get snatched up real lickety splickety but i mean i'm glad don't get me wrong i'm glad that i got my opportunity but um he was also 20 dollars, which kind of hurt it kind of hurt my wallet but come on he's a pokemon like it's worth it they they can have as much of my money as they want i just i need to do a 360 okay this is his front very cute, very Dragonite. I love his snoot. I love his little, little thingies right here. They're so cute. I don't even know, like, what is this? Is this hair? Wow. Oh. We got the, we got the tag. Look at the tag. It's so, it's so cute. It's just, it's just him and it says Pokemon. I, I mean, yeah, he doesn't have a bio because he's a licensed boy, but there's his little picture right there. There's a the back of him. Look at, Look at his wings. They're so cute. They're blue on the inside. He's got his little tail right here. It's chonky. Anyway, that's him. He's perfect. Honestly, I do think that he is worth the $20. Like, the quality is excellent. Pokemon Squishmallows never disappoint. I mean, they're always very good quality. Like, you know how sometimes Squishmallows, you can get the same one in different places and it gonna feel different. You know, like, if you get that baby from Five Below, you're like, what the heck is this? And then, you know, if you go somewhere like Hallmark, the quality difference is, it's palpable. But with Pokemon, you, you pretty much get it good every time. Because, you know, they have a standard to uphold, which is excellence. And excellence is being delivered. So I'm really excited about this one. I don't know what I'm gonna name him yet though because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Whenever I play Pokemon, I always intend to raise my Dragonite, but I never quite get there. Like, you know, I name it and then I forget the name my next game. Like, I always have my Pokemon be the same Pokemon in different games. So like every time I get a Gengar, that baby's name is Bruno and that's Bruno every game. You know what I'm saying? But I haven't picked a name for my Dragonite that I felt like I formed a relationship with and carried over. So I've just been naming my Dragonite's different names. I name all of my Pokemon. So I got to come up with a good name for him. So leave your suggestions in the comments below. All right, that is it for the Squishmallow portion of this video. It wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too heavy. Thank goodness, because I really need to be... I really need to be toning it down around here. But we did acquire some other plushies that are not Squishmallows and I still wanna show you guys um, because I am excited. So anyway, let's get it. This is Elo. He is a little guy and he's in a cow suit. I love him. I found this guy at TJ Maxx and he's weighted. So he's like heavy. I think it's for like comfort or something. I, I mean, whatever, I'm loving it. And his booty, that's where the heaviness is. He's got a thick badonkadonk. He's double caked up, if you know what I mean. I love him. I think he's so cute. I love his little derpy face. Like, he's just chilling in the cow suit. Like, he has no cares in the world. He's just like, whatever. 
I feel that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Nanny got him for me also. So thank you to Nanny for purchasing him on my behalf. And I love him very much. I usually cuddle him when I'm playing video games in my chair. He sits on my lap. He makes me feel very secure and grounded. So if, if you have anxiety or some other sort of mental distress going on, I would recommend getting a weighted plushie. I think it does. I think it works. I think it does. It kind of makes you feel like, you know, like when you're in the car and your mom buckles you in the seatbelt and you just feel like nothing bad can ever happen to you now. That's what I'm talking about. And by the way, if you don't know that feeling, I'm so sorry. Um, I will request my mom to do that for you so you know how it feels. But that's the feeling that you get. So get one of these babies. His name's Ello because that is the name that was on his box and I kind of felt like that was cute. So I didn't change it. So yeah, I love him. He's super cute. I'm not gonna throw him because he's, he's a heavy boy. He might break something. He's two pounds, by the way. Um, the same weight as my chihuahua. Okay. Fun fact. Last but not least, this one I literally got like two days ago and I was not intending on getting anything. We went to Books A Million and I went there for Unicornos. I did not find the series I was looking for, so that that was a bummer, but this was not a bummer. Dear God, it's beautiful. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Lit Oh my goodness. You know, like, I feel like plushie companies are starting to realize society's love for cows and their adorableness because this is just, it's excellent. It's an excellent design. She is a pink cow, y'all, and she is holding a heart. It, it does not get better than this. It really doesn't. Like, I saw this and I was like, oh, my goodness, I need it. I immediately picked her up and I took her to the register and they were like, we don't have bags. And I was like, that's okay. And I plopped her right in my purse and she sat in there for the rest of the day and it was very delightful. Whenever I opened up my purse and I saw her cute little face. I would recommend putting a small plushie in your purse, give you that little boost to serotonin whenever you look in there. And she has very cute sparkly brown, brown, what? Blue eyes. I don't know why I'm forgetting my colors. That's a little concerning. Um, And she has like the fur on top of her. I don't know if you can even tell, but the fur on top of her eyelids or her eyes is like slightly like black, like eyelashes. You feel me? Look at her little tail. <laughs> so cute and and her little her little pink tuft of hair she is so precious and also her name is supposed to be sprinkles i don't know i feel like we can do better not that there's anything wrong with sprinkles but i feel like i don't know i just feel like we can do better here so i i've i've thrown some names around in my brain i thought of tootie i think that's a cute name but it also reminds me of that annoying girl from Fairly Odd Parents, and I don't really want to think about her when I look at this. If you have name suggestions for her, also please leave them in the comments down below. Until we find a good one, she will still be known as Sprinkles, but that is that is TBD. And she also has a cute little little poem inside of her tag, by the way, so I'm gonna read it. It says, little cow with a big heart, loved you from the very start. I hope that you love me too. I think I'd be good for you. That's so sweet. It really is. And also her birthday is April 30th. I don't know what sort of zodiac that is because I'm not good with zodiacs. All I know is that I'm a Libra and my fiance is a Capricorn. And uh, I tried to look up compatibility with that and I couldn't find anything. So I don't, I don't know. I feel like we're pretty compatible, but um, it's too late now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was everything you wanted it to be for my comeback of a Squishmallow video. I feel like my brain is all over the place today and so I feel like I was extra weird, okay? But also I feel like if there's ever a time and place to be extra weird, it is YouTube. Let me know, what do you guys wanna see from me in the future? Because I feel like I'm just kinda doing whatever I want um, and sometimes I don't know what I wanna do. So it would be helpful if you guys would tell me what kind of content you would like to see. And before you even, like before you even start typing, I know everyone wants an updated Squishmallow collection video. I know, I know you want it. I know, I, I've, I've seen the comments and I, I'm gonna do it. I just, 
I'm stressed, okay? Can you look behind me right now? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, and, and this isn't even like, this is maybe 60%. There's a lot happening here and I have meticulously placed it all. And so for me to, I mean, in what style would you want me to do that video? Would you rather me like just pan you over what's ha happening and talk about it? Do you want a story, the story behind each one, like where I got it, etc.? Like what, what style would you prefer? Do you want me to take each one, share about them, and then move on? Would you like a multi-parter? Would you like me to condense it into one video? I kind of feel like it's going to be long because you know me, I'm a yapper. Just let me know what in what ways you would like that video delivered to you. I'm gonna do it. I just need to I need to work out how I'm gonna do it. Anyways, that's a lot of homework. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys get started and I will see you next week. Bye!